How's it going guys? My name is CJP and welcome back to another Emily the Show 22 Career Sim. So in today's Career Sim we got another subjection from Ruby and it's going to be the MJ Melendez video. We're going to be simulating his career on, well, right now he's on the Royals, but we'll see where he ends up. So we're going to simulate his career, another catcher. Uh, with the right of rosters, the injuries will be off. So if you guys are enjoying the content, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below for more video ideas, social down description. We've got a playlist down below for other MLB The Show 22 rebuilds, also career sims. And check out my channel if you can't be TJP. And that being said, it's gameplay time. All right, so let's take a look at the team. So obviously, well, not really the team, but we're looking at the lineups here. So MJ Melendez looks like he's going to be the starting catcher against righties. And that's about it. So against righties. So let's take a look at his overall. So right now he's a 77. Uh, 23 years old. This is his first season. He's also played right field, which is interesting. You guys see his attributes on the screen. Pretty decent attributes. So, should be fun. Excited to see how he's going to end up progressing with this squad. Uh, he's going to be here for, I imagine, the first six years of his career at the minimum, unless he gets traded somehow. But, uh, yeah, he's a rookie. We'll see if he wins Rookie of the Year. I don't know if he will or not. But if he get, does get any awards, I will show you guys. Uh, so, we'll probably just simulate a couple seasons, take a look where he's at, and go from there. So, I'll see you guys without an update. They simulated like his first three seasons. There really hasn't been much to note. Although this past season, NJ did have a pretty solid year. So he's up to an 84. He's played three seasons. You guys can see his uh, attributes have gone up. Uh, he only really plays against uh, righties. Is it righties, I think, he plays against? I think so. Uh, but he did get more games this season. First two seasons, he, def he split a lot of time at Perez. It looks like this time he became... A much uh, more prominent catcher in this season and you guys can see his stats are pretty good I mean he had 260 his first season a little bit of a down season last year then this year he hit 281 he was actually hitting uh, two he was in 310 at the all-star break but he just didn't have enough games played to qualify for an all-star but you know so far through three seasons 265 average 30 on base 430 it's slugging 773 OPS it's not too bad um, okay, fielding, 7.6 wins above replacement. That's pretty solid. I mean, I, I can't complain about that. I mean, through se three seasons, he's looking okay. So, obviously, if he could play a little bit more uh, these next few seasons and kind of just be like a starting catcher for the majority of the rest of the season, that'd be awesome. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know where Salvador Perez is, but he is not here. So, did he, did he get sent down? I don't know what happened to him. Must we traded him. I could have traded him. It's possible. And I just might have missed it. But either way, uh, let's see. Actually, I'll tell you right now. Yeah, I guess we did trade him. Okay. So, yeah. So, MJ is going to be our starting catcher now for the next few seasons. So, uh, if he could play pretty well, we could have some good seasons here with him. And he maybe could qualify for an all-star, win a gold glove. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, hopefully an all-star. I don't know about a gold glove. I don't know if he's going to be a good enough fielder. But we'll see. Uh... But yeah, uh, he is done with his renewable contract period. So now he's going to have three more seasons with arbitration, or maybe two, three, I don't know, we'll see. I would assume three, but it's not showing arbitration 2027, but it probably will be arbitration for three seasons. So I'll have an update for you guys once I simulate uh, some more. So once I do have one, I'm, I will show you. So we'll see you guys once I have an update. So I actually have an uh, update here. So MJ Melendez finished the league, leading the league in triples with 13. That's impressive for a catcher, especially. Uh, he should have been an all-star. I don't know how he wasn't. He was hitting 305. Ended up hitting 309 for the season. Had a really good year. Uh, last season was a down season, but this year he was awesome. 309, 361 on base, 554 slugging, 925 OPS. It's absolutely ridiculous. So this was his breakout season right here. Impressive indeed. He's currently an 89 overall. You guys see the attributes. Looking pretty nice this past season. So, uh, lots of stuff going up there. And, uh, yeah, because of this amazing season, he's now hitting 265 his career, 333 on base, 444 slugging, 777 OPS. That's kind of interesting. Uh, best fielding season so far for him. 6.7 wins above replacement uh, after putting up 0.4 last season. Uh, yeah. Excellent year from him. 14.8 so far through five seasons. So that's not too bad. Almost about three per season. Uh, okay. So good good, good stuff so far from MJ. We'll see how he uh, 
ends up doing, will he stay? Well, he might stay one more season, but I don't know after that. I mean, this team is so bad. He's been snubbed, uh, I would argue, maybe two seasons, but really one. Because this, I guess because he split time with uh, Salvador Perez. He only played like 40-something games because of that. But this past season, he played 75 in All-Star break, was hitting 305. Should have been an All-Star, but I digress. Uh, maybe it's just because of the market he plays in. So, yeah. Uh, I'll simulate, see if he does end up staying on the team, and then we'll just simulate this one past season. Otherwise, if he somehow does leave the team, gets traded, I'll show you guys. Here we go. We got his first All-Star appearance. MJ Melendez finally making it as an All-Star, playing 78 games. He's sitting currently 295 right now. He's at 90 overall currently, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, he's got seven homers, 38 ribbies. Yeah, solid season so far from him. Obviously good enough to beat All-Star. So first time All-Star for MJ Melendez. Probably should have been a two-time All-Star here, but I digress. So yeah, good stuff from him. Uh, and we're finally a somewhat respectable team. I mean, we're still not amazing, but at least we have a chance to make the postseason, which is kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, let's see if MJ can keep it up and maybe get the Royals into the playoffs. That'd be awesome. First taste of postseason baseball. The team did not make the... Uh, postseason and uh mj uh the numbers dipped in terms of power i mean still hit 276 for the season 351 base 408 slugging 79 ops still a solid season uh through his first six seasons 677 hits which is pretty good uh all right yeah 267 career average 337 on base 437 slugging 774 ops uh he's only made 20 errors hit a 4.2 war he's got 19 war through six seasons, which I think is okay. I mean, he's 28, though. So, it, I don't know if it's Hall of Fame worthy, but uh, solid career so far. Uh, just has not been able to sniff the postseason. It'd be great if he could, but as you guys see the attributes, for the most part, going up. Uh, his contact and power has kind of dipped a little bit, but that's fine. And his uh, speed and stealing also dipping a little bit. But 90 overall, he's going to be a free agent. Let's see if he ends up staying with the Royals or if he decides to leave. So MJ Melendez is going to the New York Yankees and I'm sick and tired of playing in a small market and went to the big market. On a six year, $114.6 million deal, he will be the new catcher for the Yankees. So there you go. He ended up leaving Kansas City. So now we're going to take control of the Yankees. So let's go to them and just take a look at their teams, see their squad, uh, how they looking. Definitely different. I guess, uh, well, they also have Tyler Soderstrom. So that's also a really dumb decision on MJ's part. Because he's not even going to be a starter. I, I don't know. That, that might have been a dumb move by his part, honestly. Uh, but we'll see. I guess we'll just simulate and I'll see you guys at the, at, at the start and see what happens. He's going to be the kind of guy, once again, where it's going to be, I'm going to play against the righties and Tyler's going to play against the lefties. We'll see how long that lasts for. Uh, but yeah, I, I I wouldn't have went to the Yankees if I was him, if I'm dealing with this. But I guess maybe he wants to win. So I guess the Yankees have a better chance. I mean, they're, they definitely have a better team than the Royals. So, uh, well, let's just simulate a couple seasons. Unless the Yankees make the playoffs, which they could. If they make the postseason, then I'll show you guys. I keep saying playoffs. But uh, if they do make the postseason, we'll uh, simulate it. Uh, and I will show you guys how he does, if he does end up playing. So, yeah, let's simulate and see what happens with MJ. Okay, MJ Melendez is an all-star. So, he's a two-time all-star right now. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I guess he must be the... Well, I don't know if he's the starter, but two-time all-star. So, he played 70 games. He's hitting 296. 12 homers, 43 ribbies. That's pretty good. I mean, okay. Splitting time with Ty... And, I mean, I guess... Wait, Ty's not even on the team anymore. Uh, but Francisco Mejia is. That's another guy that I'm like... Ah. So they must have traded him then. That's a weird trade. Especially since he's a switch hitter. Um, okay. Well, either way... Pretty funny that... Uh, I guess he's the catcher, so... At least to get still a catcher, it's still a same, similar situation, except we play Sauter Strum with Mejia. Mejia is a switch hitter, so that's a little bit scary. But I mean, he's an all-star, so hey, two-time all-star, and Yankees are looking pretty solid. So maybe they'll make the uh, postseason. 
So I guess I'll see you guys at the end of the season where we'll see how MJ does in the postseason, assuming the Yankees make it, which they should. So this team did make the postseason, obviously, which makes sense. Uh, game, number of games dipped a little bit, but, I mean, it's it's all good. He was still an all-star, and obviously with Mejia on the team, he's going to be splitting time. But, yeah, uh, this could be his first taste of postseason baseball, so it should be exciting stuff. And uh, let's see how he does. Uh, I don't know who we're taking on, but we're just going to simulate and see what happens. Uh, sim through date. So his first season in the postseason is going to be the Tampa Bay Rays. If we could beat them, that'd be awesome. And it looks like we do. So we're going to the ALCS, take on the Angels with, uh, okay, interesting stuff there. Let's see if we can beat them. So Angels, we do. And we're taking on the Mets in the Subway Series. The, okay, wow. We're taking on the, we're in the World Series. He's in, MJ Melendez is in the World Series. Get out of here. Are we going to win? We won the World Series. He is a World Series champion. Two-time All-Star World Series champion. Okay. Um, Isaac Gentry, World Series MVP. Nolan Gorman, Playoff MVP. Okay. Uh, curious to see if he played and how he did in the postseason. Not too bad. 288 average, four homers, six, uh, four homers eight RBIs, which is pretty cool. Uh, I guess Ty oh no, nope. Tyler Soderstrom is still on the team. So we we have three catchers that are a ninety one, a ninety, and a ninety. That's just so weird, New York. But okay, and hey, hey, whatever works, whatever whatever works. I mean, hey, as long as MJ's playing, I'm cool because he's the focus of the video. So, World Series champ, two time All Star. That's not too bad. That's that might be so far one of the better careers so far. Um, yeah. All right, let's just keep simulating and see what happens. But that's awesome. So the Yankees almost went back-to-back -back in winning World Series. We lost 6 out of the Padres. However, uh, when Zach Veen was playoff MVP. Uh, just to take another quick look at how MJ did in the in the postseason. Not too bad. 32 at-bats, hit 375, which is pretty good. Uh, okay. Uh, also, Joey Gallo is back on the team. Joey Gallo is actually... Hitting the ball really well for the Yankees, but yeah. Uh, through, um, what is this? His, this was his eighth season. He's up to a 92. He's 30 years old. And yeah, 295 average, which is pretty crazy. Uh, he's got 906 hits for his career. 114 homers, 427 ribbies. Not too bad. He's hitting 272. That's, that's solid. 343 on base, 450 slugging. Uh, 793 OPS. This is this is a good player. This is a good career. I gotta say, he's made only 32 errors. He's got a 28.7 WAR. Like this looks good. This is good. This is a this is what a good this is a good career so far. So, if he can keep this up for another few seasons, like he's 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 pretty golden. Obviously, he's, I'd like to see a few more All Star appearances from him. Maybe a Gold Glove. Maybe another World Series. And then you know what? Like I don't know if he's a he's not gonna be a Hall of Famer in this game. Because you have to be, like, a first ballot Hall of Famer to make it in MLB The Show. If you had that, that's, like, a GOAT career. If you could, well, uh, one of the greats of all time. But, I don't know. So far, he's had a solid career. I mean, maybe if he could have played a little bit more games. You know, we, we, we time would tell. But, so far, though, this is looking good. So, I'm going to see him in another couple seasons. If we win the World Series, I'll tell you guys. If we don't, then I'll just keep simulating i'll probably simulate till like year 10 the 10 is uh 10th season so uh mj's down to an 85 he's starting to regress he's 32 uh we just lost in the world series to the giants and yeah as you can see he's not the starting catcher anymore uh but he's coming off the bench he's still playing pretty solid though uh when he does get time on the field but yeah it looks like the best of him is behind him as he is starting to really regress yeah a little unfortunate I mean, the Yankees did sign another catcher, so I thought maybe, oh, he'd get more uh, time in the field. I was wrong. I was wrong. 34.2 uh, war so far through 10 seasons, but yeah, it looks like Yvonne Herrera is going to be playing more. He's a 95 still, and yeah, he's looking good. He's two years younger. So, well, what do we got for MJ. He's got three seasons left, maybe two seasons left. So I have to simulate the rest of this offseason or advance of the offseason. So 
we'll see if he what, what he ends up deciding to do. Uh, but yeah, it looks like he's not really going to be starting anymore. That's for sure. Okay, well, I was not going to stop this, but we won our second World Series with MJ. Uh, he did not play, though, most likely. Also, this team has uh, Juan Soto for some reason. Okay. Uh, did MJ play in the post? No, he did not get any at-bats in the postseason, but he still contributed throughout the season. I mean, he did play sparingly, and he hit 340 when he did play 32 games. So that's, that's something. Right, that's got to count for something. Um, but again, yeah, just not enough, not enough, not enough games. I mean, he's kind of just there now. But hey, he's got one more season. Maybe he can win another World Series with this team. That'd be kind of lit. But uh, yeah, uh, let's see what, en what he ends up doing. I'll see you guys at the end of next season. So it looks like this could be potentially MJ's final season in new york i mean we still have the postseason to simulate but he's been in the majors 12 years you guys see 30 he only played 35 games again hit 271 though so for his career right now he's got over 1100 hits he's got 140 homers 530 rib ribbies uh 274 average 348 slugging on on base or for these slugging ops 798 which is pretty good he's made 39 errors uh he has a 36.6 wins above replacement uh which is Again, he's had a good career. Two two World Series. Uh, could potentially win a third one here. Two-time All-Star. Led the league in triples once. If that... I guess that's kind of a bonus. I never had that before. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, he's played his role well. He's been professional about it. He's not going to really play in the postseason, but... Uh, I don't see the Yankees keeping him around. Um, and... I don't know where he's going to go. He might play like one season with somebody, a couple seasons, but then I think he might just bounce around in the minors until he retires. Well, until no one signs and then he sits in free agency for like a couple seasons, then retires. That's what I'm assuming will happen. But let's just see, let's see if they can win a World Series here. That could be three World Series, which would be pretty impressive for MJ. Uh, but it looks like we're going to lose against Seattle. Uh, maybe not, actually. No, we did. Okay, so we didn't beat the World, we didn't beat the Mariners. Mets win the World Series. Good for them. All right, let's see where MJ decides to sign. All right, so it looks like he went to the Cubs. So he's currently 35. There's his attributes. As you guys see, they're definitely regressing for sure. So I don't know if he's going to be a starter or not on the Cubs. I guess we'll find that out. But uh, I guess we'll take control of the Cubs. So let's do that. So he is in Chicago. So went from Kansas City to New York. Now he's in Chicago. So let's take a look at their team. They have a pretty solid team. Uh, is he a starter? He's actually a starter. Against righties, at least. And then Christopher Shaw. I mean, maybe he can even take Chris, this guy's Christopher Shaw spot if he plays well. But that's impressive. Okay, so this could be potentially helpful in terms of, okay, let's try to boost up the career stats a little bit. Because he kind of was on the bench for the most part uh, during his time in New York. So maybe this could be good for him. Maybe he could prove himself, have a really good season, maybe even make an all-star. That'd be awesome if he does. I don't know if he will, but uh, all right, let's see how he does. So it looks like bad news here. Um, MJ got sent down to the minors. He's 70 overall now, 35 years old. He played 30 games. He didn't really, I guess he started off as a starter. Then the Cubs were like, nah. But when he, again, when he did play, he was productive. He hit 299, 516 ribbies. So I don't know. Maybe, he's, again, he's getting the short end of the stick here. He's got a good career. He's got some good career numbers. Gotta say. Uh, he's had a solid career. I mean, it's just kind of unfortunate. He should have played a little bit more. He kind of just didn't play that much in these last five seasons, and now he's in the minors. So, I don't know. Maybe if the Cubs win the World Series, because we're in the postseason, uh, maybe if the Cubs win the World Series, they'll give him a ring. I mean, he's just not on the, he's just not on the playoff roster, it doesn't look like. I mean, maybe they'll call him up. Uh, assuming they win. I mean, which uh, that's a big if, and uh, they don't anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, did he even get called up? I mean, the Mets win the World Series again. Dang. Did he get called up? He did not. So, yeah, it's looking like if he's going to sign with the team, which I don't know if he will, he's going to be in the minors. So, uh, let's see what ha let's see what ends up happening here. All right, so it looks like MJ Melendez signed with the Padres, but it, chances are he's not going to be in the majors for <laughs> many games this season. But I guess the Padres we're calling from him he's starting right now but i don't think that's gonna be permanent 
It probably won't last more than a week. But uh, I guess he gets a little bit more opportunities in San Diego and gets to enjoy the weather and gets to make $3.2 million doing it. So, all right, let's see how he does. So MJ did get, end up getting sent down, but he actually played a fair amount of games. He played the most games he's played since 2030. He played 70 games, uh, six homers, 27 ribbies, hit 261 in his age 36 season. He's down to a 66. You guys see the attributes are regressing, but that's okay. You know what? 261 isn't bad. 274 career still. 347 on base. Uh, 274 career. 347 on base. 448 slug and 794 OPS. Uh, fieldings. Only made 42 errors. His 39 to uh, wit war. So it's been pretty good. I mean, again, like if he played a little bit more... You know, he also had this one bad year here. Uh, but honestly, like, this has been a solid career. I mean, he's, he might just continue to bounce around. But I think now he might be at the point where he's a little bit too low in him overall to be in the majors. But I guess I've been shocked before. So let's see what ends up happening here. If he gets signed to a team or uh, if he does get signed, will he play in the majors? Or if he does, if he just sits afraid to see how long will he sit there before he retires? So let's just find out. Right, so MJ did not get picked up by a team, so this begins the long, boring part of the video of me sitting here recording, waiting for him to retire, since this is probably going to be his career. I mean, over 1,200 hits, had made a good amount of money. I think he won a few World Series. Did he win two or three? I don't remember how many it was. Um, made the postseason a lot, though, especially once he moved out of Kansas City. A uh, couple All-Star appearances, which is cool. Uh, no gold gloves. Hit 274 though as a career, which I might be the highest so far. Uh, 347 on base, 448 slugging, 794 OPS. Uh, made 42 errors throughout his career. 39.2 wins above replacement. Yeah, this has been a good career. I gotta say, he's had a good career, but I don't think he's gonna play again in the majors. I think we've seen the end of MJ Melendez here, but I guess we'll just simulate win until he retires. So. Uh, I guess with that being said, I'll see you guys once I have an update for him. Alright, well, it looks like MJ Melendez finally retires after the 2038 season. He sat in free agency for three seasons, progressed all the way down to a 48, and uh, obviously the stats were the same as you last saw them because he didn't hit the field ever again. So, finished with a career war of 39.2. We're going to go to baseball reference. Uh, however, my internet connection for whatever reason, or I don't mean my internet connection, because it says I'm connected to the internet, uh, but I cannot seem to get onto uh, um, any of these websites here, so I'll have to figure that out. Uh, so give me one moment, but yeah, 39.2 uh, war. Uh, let's see where he stacks up on baseball reference compared to other catchers. All right, so we're on baseball reference, and uh, a 39.2 war, career war, would put MJ uh, with the likes of Kurt Davis, Howard uh, Emke, and Jake Peavy. I remember Jake Peavy. Remember Jake Peavy? Cy Young, Triple Crown, two-time World Series uh, winner. I don't think who we won it with. Boston and San Francisco. He was a Cy Young winner, three-time All-Star Gold Glover, two-time ERA title winner. Good career, good career. Uh, then around this area, I got Madison Bumgarner, Anthony Rizzo's here. He's still playing. Jose Ramirez a little bit above him. Jason Hayward. Lonzo Cain, Sonny Marte, not too far behind. Um, okay. Carl Crawford. Around here, okay. All right, interesting stuff. Let's take a look at where he ranks in terms of catchers now. Right, so from our jar leaders, here we go. 39.2 would put him with the likes of, well, in between Charlie Bar uh, Charlie Bennett and Lance Parrish, 26th all time. Which is pretty solid. I mean, listen, he had a good career. Can't complain about that. Over the likes of Russell Martin, Victor Martinez, Brian McCann, Salvador Perez, his buddy that he started off with. I mean, if we look at Salvador Perez, he was a seven-time All-Star, won the World Series once, five-time Gold Glover, World Series MVP, and a four-time Summer Slugger. 
you could argue that's better. He's had a better career. But I guess the game, for some reason, just doesn't give out All-Stars. So yeah, two-time All-Star, two or three-time World Series winner. I don't know which one. Led League and Triples once. That's what we got from MJ. And he was, you know, he was a productive bench player as well. So that's pretty solid. Obviously, he's not going to be a Hall of Famer. I mean, if you guys want to see, he's not going to make the Hall of Fame. Uh, so we'll just advance. No Hall of Fame. Jesus Sanchez, though, made the Hall of Fame. So did Austin Riley. But no MJ. So... It is what it is. Let's go to the full screen and close this video. Joe, well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like on it and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below some more videos. So it's down in the description. We're going to play this down below for other MLB videos. Check out my channel. It's Connor from TJP. I have to say, overall, this was one of the better careers that we've had. I would say. This has been one of the better careers. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more careers for now. I mean, if you guys want to leave a suggestion, I might limit those a bit because, like I said, I've been pumping out Madden videos, and then we're going to have M NBA videos coming out. So it's going to be kind of tough to fit in the MLB. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I guess if I can get to some of your ideas, leave them down below in the comments. Uh, but, yeah, I guess with that being said, though, uh, productive career from... Uh, MJ Melendez. So, and I don't know why my face cam is continuously freezing on me for whatever reason in OBS, so I have to figure out what's that, what's going on there, but uh, I guess with that being said, though, uh, take care, everybody. Have a great night. See you soon, and peace.